What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Race Explained. Hope you all have had a fantastic week and if this is your first time on this channel, welcome. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the content on this channel and today I'm going to be answering a question that I've received from a lot of you and that's the difference between those colored ties on your teeth and what are steel ligatures. So let's go. So as I've shown you guys in different videos, the main purpose of an arch wire is that it wants to return back to its original shape. And when we tie it into teeth, it wants to come out of the teeth to return to its shape. So what we do as orthodontist is tie in each individual tooth into this main wire so that when the wire returns to its original shape, the teeth will come with it. Now, there are a number of different ways we can tie in these individual teeth. In this video, I'm going to review three different types. One way is by using elastic O-rings, which are those different color rings that you see. The second way is using steel ligatures, which is where we use little wires to tie in the main wire. And the third way is certain types of brackets that are actually self-ligating, which means that they're brackets that actually have doors that can be open and closed when the wire is put in and out. First, let's take a look at different elastic O-rings, which are the colored ties. So you guys should be pretty familiar with what these are, but these are some of the colors that the elastic o-rings come in and the way we apply them is that we just grab a hold of them and an individual one will be tied on each bracket. Here's an example of some model teeth where they have some colored o-rings on them. Let's take these off and put new ones on. You can see here that we're changing the wire and what we'll do is place it into the braces, cut off any extra wire so that it doesn't poke your cheek, and let's try to tie in this wire. Let's go with my personal favorite, the teal. And what you'll see is that the four wings of each bracket will be tied in like that. Now, for certain teeth that need to be tied in a little bit more tightly, you might hear of your orthodontist putting on a figure eight tie. What the figure eight tie looks like is just that. It gets crisscrossed over your braces so that it looks like a figure eight. Next, let's go ahead and look at steel ligatures. Now, steel ligatures are a little bit more rigid and they can be used to tie in stubborn teeth that need the wire tied in a little bit tighter. So steel ties come in different forms. We have these longer ones which can be used to tie in several teeth together and these smaller ones which are actually called shorties. Let's go ahead and see how we tie in an individual tooth using a shorty. The way we tie them in is pretty much the same but it's a little bit easier to manage shorties. So let's go ahead and tie in one shorty and see how that looks. So what we'll do is grab onto the little pigtail of these shorties, go around a bracket and make sure that all four of the little wings of the bracket are engaged. And then to make sure that it's fully tied in, we'll twist and twist and twist. What will be left at this point is a long little pigtail, which is a little wire that would be sticking out here, but this tooth is fully tied in. Next what we'll do is cut off the extra, leaving a tiny little pigtail behind just to make sure that it doesn't come undone. And then what we'll do is tuck this in so that it doesn't poke your lips under the main wire. The third type of way that we can individually tie in teeth are self ligating brackets. Now I don't have an example for that but I will do a little drawing right here. The way these brackets work is that there's a little door that opens and closes whenever you need to take the wire in and out. Whenever the wire is put in, the door is shut and that allows for the wire to be able to be ligated or tied into the bracket which results in the tooth moving. And those are pretty much the three main ways that teeth can be tied into the arch wire. Now it's really important to follow the instructions of your orthodontist because if these little rings come loose or these steel ligatures break, what will happen is that there will be no force delivered to that tooth and therefore that tooth won't move. So keep an eye out and see if any of these things come loose so you can let your orthodontist know 
if there's a problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have a certain color that's your favorite or whatever color you're wearing right now, leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them below and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next week on Braces Explained. For now, Dr. Greg, 